So the next part in our quest to download Windows 11 onto an older laptop is to get a copy of the Windows 11 ISO. And to do that, just go into um, Google, type in Windows 11 ISO, and you'll come to the Windows 11 download page, the official one from Microsoft. Now, you've got two options for downloading the ISO image. First of all is this section here which will just download the ISO um, straight away. Or you've got this one here. Um, and I use this one here about using the installation media because actually it's slightly quicker and the file is slightly smaller than this option here. Don't ask me why, it just is. So all we would do here is just click on download and there you go, you can see that I've downloaded it multiple times. And we're gonna say yes, we want it to start working. And then we're just gonna click on accept. And then I'm just going to accept those, use those um, options there. That's fine. And on this section here, you want to do the ISO file. We don't want to do the USB flash drive. We want to do the ISO file. And it will be obvious why we want to just do the ISO file um, in the next stage of the installation. But at this point, just trust me and select that. Right, I want it to store. This is where do you want it to save it to? I want it on my desktop so it's nice and obvious I don't forget it. And it's just going to save it as Windows 11, Windows. Okay, so now the download is finished and it's just checking it and making sure that it's the download is a workable copy. Okay, so there we go. You can see that the download has completed and it's checked it out and it believes it to be okay. So if you just want to check just to make sure, for instance, I've got it on my desktop here. So that is absolutely fine if we check the um, check the properties just to make sure that it is completed the download and it's an ISO file. And there we go. So the next stage is where we're going to download another piece of free and fantastic software that turns this ISO file into a bootable USB drive. And not only does it, stand, does it turn it into a bootable, a standard bootable USB drive, but it turns it into a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 for an older laptop. OK, so we have got the Windows 11 ISO file and we've got our old laptop. Now what we need to do is we need to download a piece of software called Rufus. It's totally free and it's safe. It's a great piece of software. And this converts that ISO file into, into something, into a bootable system that goes onto a USB stick. So at this point, you do need your USB stick. You need at least eight gigabytes of a USB stick that you don't, you only want to use for this because when it creates this bootable Windows 11, it's going to wipe everything else off. And this is a really small piece of software, so it downloads in seconds. So as you can see, I typed into Google Rufus USB. And here we go. The download is just here. 3.2 is the latest um, version. 
and then you can see in the downloads it appears up there and here we go so in the first section here what you want to do is you want to this needs to select your USB stick that you've put in okay and then this section here we want that ISO file so we're going to go to the desktop and that Windows file and we're going to select that this image option keep it as standard Windows installation don't do Windows to go and then this is the most important thing here really um, the MBR partition option here is for older laptops. Those, those are laptops which just use a standard BIOS to start up. Sorry, standard BIOS to start, to start up. The other option for slightly newer laptops is GPT, which uses the UF, UEFI uh, startup system. But for this video, I'm going to do the, the MBR. And then everything else is, we, you don't have to touch. And then you can just set it off on its way. As soon as you press start, this is where the magic happens. Because what it is, what uh, Rufus is doing here is it's making, it's making this, um, installation so that it can go on an old laptop it's basically doing it's basically providing some hacks so that um, yeah so that Windows 11 can be um, put onto an old laptop so make sure at least these two options these top options are selected and um, I would also go for disable the data collection which will just speed up the process a little bit more. And then when, when those two or three options are selected, just press OK. It will give you a warning to say that your USB stick will be completely wiped. And you can see on the screen at the bottom, there's a green progress bar. And at the moment, it's just at 1%. So this will take about 15 to 20 minutes in my experience. And this is where it's applying the Windows customizations or those hacks that enable us to install Windows 11 on older laptops. And there we go. We now have a usable USB stick with Windows 11 on it. So the next stage is to stick, put the stick into the laptop and then install Windows 11. Morning everyone, welcome to another video by Upgrade or Trash IT. In this video, I've got the HP 630 and having modified our Windows 11 files, it's time to see if Windows 11 would install on a machine of this age. So let's turn her on. I'm 
actually takes a little while and then go to the boot menu. Now my the Windows 11 files are on the Toshiba USB stick. It's got it as a Toshiba Trans memory here. So a little bit about this laptop. This laptop was actually launched way back in 2011. It first came with Windows 7. It's a 64-bit machine. It has got an i3 first-generation mobile processor. Now that is even less powerful than the first-generation desktop processors, which most of us are much more familiar with. Okay, all of these settings are for the UK, so that's perfect. This laptop has a large 15.6 inch screen. Can install Windows 10. Now I've upgraded this laptop so it's got a solid state drive in it and it's also got eight gigabytes of RAM. Interestingly, only six gigabytes of RAM have been recognized by the laptop. So I don't know what's going on there, but I've tried lots of different things and none of them are working. Six gigabytes is all that I'm getting. And I know that those two, those sticks of RAM actually work because I've used them in other laptops recently. Okay, onwards, let's go. Okay, let's do my Wi-Fi. Okay, let's try that again. Let's just sign in. Okay, so there we go. There is a hacked copy of Windows 11 successfully installed on the HP 630 in just under 19 minutes. Now, to check just how successful this installation has been, I just want to run a few checks. And the first one I want to check is to see if this copy has been activated. Excellent. So we can see that it is it is active, which is fantastic. Now the next thing to do is to check if it will enable us to do 
updates. So let's leave that running for updates. Um, and while that's running, I just want to talk about the compatibility, how all the different hardware on this laptop is actually working with Windows 11. And we can see that it's working very well. The Wi-Fi, if we look in the bottom right hand corner, the Wi-Fi is obviously working. The sound is obviously working. The display is, is at the correct resolution. So it's really installed very nicely onto this HP 630. And look, it's enabling we can if we like. got some downloads there so we can update it as well so it looks to be a really successful installation and just one final check that I want to do and I do this on for all my laptops is to check is to time how long it takes to start and to load so I'll just do that now I'll just shut it down. And then I will just turn it on again. And I want to know how quickly can I actually view a web page? Okay, and there we go. So that is around 40 seconds. It has a startup time of 40 seconds. So for those of you who want to who want to install Windows 11 on HP on an HP uh, 630, I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.